Okay, guys, and welcome back finally to Let's Play Roll Upon 2. In the last episode, which was like months ago, well, it feels like it at least, we. I actually don't even remember. <laughs> um, we ended up in that big windmill. Uh, we were searching up the couple, we were looking for the couples. And I left it off in me creating a new Robopon. And that was Granite. Now, as you guys can see, he's level 23. And next to, uh, well, a little bit below the Will uh, stat, he has Enhance, which means I could uh, trade him for a new... Well, not, I don't know if it's trade or like... Well, let's check it, actually. Exchange, as they call it. Whoops. Nope. Uh, exchange. So granite can be exchanged. It's going to turn into an arm knight. So we're gonna exchange him and we get this. Oh my god, a beast. Alright. Congratulations! Granite has been enhanced and becomes a bold. So we check the bold and obviously his level gets decreased by half. And we're gonna put a uh, Jabulani or Jabroni. And we're going to train him a little bit more. Uh, the only skill he had was shield, which raises your defense. So nothing interesting there. So I'll be right back right after I train Bold to a respectable level. BRB. Boom. And we check our levels and... <laughs> yeah, we probably jumped up a little bit, but that was because I was trying to train Bold. And yeah, when you know, when you try to train someone that is level 5... It's pretty hard, so you know, you gotta kind of switch it up. But once he was alone, I trained him by himself, and you usually get more EXP like that. So we're here in the shop. Um, why? Well, let's check some of the parts for the bold. It's kind of weird calling him bold. <laughs> I should just call him, like, bold or something. Um, I don't even know what he uses. I think he's a fighter, right? Yeah. So let's see what... Um, oh, that's not what it is. Oh. Huh. Alright, so I don't, I don't remember what parts he used. Uh, a fire lance, maybe. Let's check that. Oh, there we go. A fire lance. So it increases his attack by 23, 23 defense, speed 13, uh, 4, which I forget what it is, 12, and will. So that's, that's a good addition to our parts. So how about we sell some of this crap? Uh, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, almost stinks. And now let's look at the software we have available to us. Uh, not really anything good. Not, not at least for um, this arm knight. Because as you guys could see, he doesn't really have that much um, EP. Unlike our other Robopons, just like Arm Sun Zero, which has, that has 118. Okay, but enough blabbering. How about we start heading out to the next part of the chapter? I don't know what is wrong with me, but I can't talk today. <laughs> I mean, it's been two weeks or so, so it's pretty hard to just commenting like that. You know, you're like talking to yourself, you're talking to the monitor, and it's like, what the hell? <laughs> Alright, so last time we were here, and now we go inside, basically. Plain and simple. And we're here. Now let's take some of the Robopons in here, how about that? Uh, I'll just fight the first battle to show you some of the Robopons that are here. Now we're OP level, so we're probably gonna KO all of these. For the most part. Alright, we killed the nurse, because we're beasts like that. And the Maddy, or the, the other one. Wow, 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 wow. He does not do that much damage. Oh, they're not, they're not that powerful. I mean, what the hell? They're not as weak as I thought, actually. Okay, that's one. That makes more sense. So, now we're just going to speed up all the battles, because it starts to get repetitive. You see, you know, it's the same battles. Okay. So I want to talk to you guys about why I s kind of like slowed down on the uploads. I mean, I did say I had um, 
I had finals, which I'm done with now. But like, my computer just been acting a bit iffy, and I think it's more of a hardware hardware problem more than not. There's my Hispanic accent coming out again out of nowhere. Um, but yeah. The thing is, I don't even know how to explain it. It's... My computer, um, it runs fine now. But before I, like, fixed it, it made, like, scratching noises in the bottom left of the monitor. And it, it when it started doing that, it just started lagging. And then it just crashed. So I, I thought it was a software problem, but I, I figured out that it wasn't. And, you know, it was frustrating because that started ever since, um, my Resident Evil, um, you know, works. And it's frustrating as well because I never got to finish that series. Now, I still want to finish it and I will finish it. It's finished, I mean, except, it, the, the, I mean, I finished Chris Story, but I didn't finish Jill Scenario. I didn't even start it. So that's frustrating. And well, as I run on, around in circles, <laughs> I gotta think of an idea of how I'm gonna fix it. Uh, where am I even going? Am I kind of like lost here? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm pretty much lost. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, the frustrations of LP. What? I can't even escape. That's crazy. But yeah, you know. Um. So yeah, it, it was mostly that and my finals. I would say now I'm probably free off off all that, so I'll, I'll be good. Can we actually try to escape? These guys don't even do that much damage. All right, but you know, right now I'm now. I'm trying to finish this whole game and we'll see where it takes us uh okay so i'm still trying to figure out where exactly i had to go because i forgot uh right well we have to get there that's for sure uh but i forgot how to get there i think i know yeah it's through here there we go but, you know, frustrations. So I apologize for all of that um, waiting you guys had to do. I know I myself hate waiting. And I hate it when LPers don't even tell us, don't tell, um, don't give a specific reason why, why they stopped uploading, which is pretty frustrating as a YouTuber when you just watch their content. Um, but yeah, now I'm just gonna try to upload as much as I can. And here we have a door. Uh, if we click on it, a twisted visage is engraved in the door. I'm the designer of the Galileo window. My underlying soul lives on here. Two people just force their way inside. I should haunt them, but I'm a lazy moon. I'm in a lazy moon. But I won't let you pass unless you correctly answer my riddle. I can see far into the future. One day, a village called Tycho will come to exist. I can see beautiful windmills in Tycho Village. So I ask you, how many windmills are in Tycho Village? Oh, fudge. Tycho Village. I think it had one, right? Oh, yo, area. Yeah. Fuck off. Wait, I think we- Oh no, no, now we can't escape. So we're just gonna destroy these people. So we gotta talk to him again, obviously. And let's... Tag two, right? Yeah, okay. How did you know? It says you've been, you've been there. Anyway, you may pass. Ooh, mysterious music. I love that door, it's just like funny. I mean, it has a mask. A mask. <laughs> All right. So let's keep sit. Let's keep looking for these guys. These guys just like ran off. 
And the next door is right to the other side of the whole windmill. My new trivia will surely render you stumped. I can see far into the future, honest. One day, a village called Taiko will come to exist. The plants I see in Taiko are strange, different, they're very unique. So I ask you, what do you, what do the green plants in Taiko look like? Oh, I forgot. I think that they are khaki? Ah, oh, fudge off. Okay, so let's guess again. <laughs> Rockets. What? Are you, what? <laughs> what? That's just funny. I'm clueless. That's correct. Finally, someone who can understand me. You may pass. Okay, so that's a typical weird answer. Apparently, the answer "I'm clueless" makes sense. Wow. No comment on that. But now we are. Oh wait. <laughs> that's it. There's only two doors. All right. I thought there was three for sure. So if we look around here, here they are. Oh, oh! You guys just saw that. It's a person, right? It reminded me of that henchman that used to help Mask Man. So he actually has like different robot pawns. So let's go his time loop. Now I don't understand what exactly like is the idea behind this. But all I know is he gives you money. And we're gonna take it from him. Okay, that didn't kill him. So let's kill the Giga Pound. All right. So as you guys can see, we um, obviously get EXP. We get a level up and some gold, which is always a good thing. I guess. I guess that all I can do is to show you what I really look like. Then I'll know if you truly love me, or if it's all just talk. Is this a? Is it that? Oh my god! I can't reach it. Again. Is it that alien nonsense again? I thought it was a joke. Are you serious? Not that it matters. I'd, I'd love you, no matter what, my darling Miho. I'd admit that I've made mistakes in the past. I was selfish, spoiled, and I even took you for granted, my love. But that's all changed. I'm a brand new Tataki. No matter what your true form is, you're still my Miho. My eternal love won't disappear, no matter what you look like. I know, Tataki. When I met you, I knew this would happen. We were destined to be separated by space. It's just, sometimes, I'd pretend that maybe I didn't have to go home. I only wanted to be here, with you. I'm sorry. Thank you for your love. Now, now, the real me. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> Miho! <laughs> You're an alien! This can't be real. I pledge my eternal love to you, but I can't do this. I expected a cute alien, like on TV. But you're an ugly one, like at the conventions. I can't believe this. You're an octo an alien octopus. I can't love an octopus. This is madness. I'm leaving. Forever. Goodbye. Go back to Mars or wherever, you ugly alien. Wow. Wow, sob. Why are human men like this? No, all men are like this. Men suck. Don't become a big selfish jerk like Tataki. Promise me that you won't. How could I have ever been in love with him? Utara told me about you. I'll go along quietly. Just use the gate bomb. It can't be. It can't heal my heart. <laughs> men are all such slop, beating mud blowers. I was just honest with him. People on the moon find me very attractive. Never judge a girl on her looks alone. Promise me that you won't. Yes, guys, and that is the lesson of today. This is the la lesson for today on Chizzle Chills Show. So yeah, um, 
Tataki's a big dick, and I should slap him for it. <laughs> but yeah, you know, that's just... It's kind of funny how these games show us a little bit of how real world looks like. You know, a lot of people judge on looks, and it's just a bit cold hearted. No, it's not a little bit, it's a bit more than that. Because, you know, it's just immature. You can't just judge someone on how you look. It's just saying as, oh, you know, you're stupid, so you'll never be smart, or something like that. Although, when you're stupid, you might be smart at something else, but not just, not academics. So everyone's assuming that you're ugly, so, you know, you have a bad personality. And frankly, it's disgusting. But, you know, this is the real world sometimes, and you gotta live with it. Unfortunately. Um, where am I going? Right. After being 10 minutes lost in this place, I finally know where to go. <laughs> Alright, so now that we captured um, Miho, we can finally go back to the future. And that's always a good thing because we don't belong in this place and we could destroy mankind if we're here. Well, the future of mankind. Oh, come on. So, can't wait for today because this is an actual soccer match. And it's going to be the USA, the good old USA, against Belgium, which has some very, very respectable teams. Well, players, not teams. Of course, it's a respectable team, it's Belgium, for Christ's sake. Now, the teams are, the players they are using, like Romelu Lukaku, Christian Benteke, you know, it's, it's a list on and on and on. It's kind of crazy how Belgium just came like that, you know? Anyway. Is this right? Have I been here before? It looks familiar, but I can't recall. I was so enthralled with Miho that I wasn't watching the road. Is she alright? My poor Miho. She was an alien. I get it now. She's gone. Probably went back to the moon to mock me. I can't believe she lied. She deceived me. I bet she was trying to abduct me for research. But she was so gentle. No! That's it, it's over. Coming here just to find a human boyfriend? I tell you, it's sick. I'm going back to my time. Take it easy. You dick. Where are the chickens? Oh cool, we're not even inside. <laughs> All right, and we're back. Whoa, what's up with that? <laughs> and just like every single experiment or Dexter's laboratory, we end up with explosions. Miho, Miss Miho, I'll never forget you. My Miho, but there's nothing I can do. Nobody can heal my broken heart. Ah, this is no good. What are we, what are we going to do now, Don Sir? The neighbors won't be too happy about that last big explosion. They could put a hold on our research. Elementary, Sam. Our standard procedures indicate that we shall vacate the premises. <laughs> a silly scientist. Anyways, now that we're done with finding Miho and we finally showed uh I forgot his name the guy Taki or Hataki we showed him that his girlfriend is actually an alien and we broke both of their hearts now that we finally did that well technically we didn't do that they did it on their own now that we capture her you might think we're done but in reality we're not because now that we have uh Explored the big windmill in the past Now we have to do it in the present so that's gonna be a bit repetitive, but it's a bit different because there's a big surprise there So as you guys can see Boom, it's open. We enter and we're ready now We're still looking for the last alien because we haven't found that yet. We have six aliens, but not seven 
So last next episode, this is the only place we have to search left. Next episode, we're gonna do just that. This has been Chill Chill. Thanks for watching. As my phone rings, I'm gonna pick it up and see who it is. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye.